hear was Emmanuel Stewart in the corner. And the only reason why I could hear that voice is, you know, because I had heard it all, what is it, for the last two months in training camp. But that was the only distinct voice I could hear. But when I came back at the end of that seventh round, Howard Cosell was actually right there in my corner. And I looked down at him. I heard him for the first time commentating. I looked down at him. I winked. Uh, but then I got right back to my focus. Went out this eighth round. Had an excellent round in the eighth round. That was probably the best round that I had in the fight. Of course, I went out the ninth round, and I won by a ninth round knockout. You'll see the film. I'm sure we'll show Is that you there? That's it. That's right. That's Sean McKenzie. And remember that name, man. He's still with just called him in his corner. Son, you are fighting a masterpiece. And indeed, it's been masterful. Fighting in a way that none of us expected as the aggressor. Not seeking to stay out of range because of his body as apparently superior punching suit. But instead, taking the aggressive lead with his quicker hands throughout the championship it seems like I ran as fast as I possibly could in the opposite direction mm -hmm. and I truly did run as fast as I possibly could in the other uh, direction I remember um, right after that fight I didn't make myself or I didn't make that anchor available to me now that I'm not boxing I've got a wonderful family <clears throat> now I am using that anchor I'm holding on to that anchor and I'm holding on to that anchor tight I have a wonderful life right now. I don't know if you all seen it last, uh, about three weeks ago, but did you see my son three weeks ago? Yeah. I mean, that's much better than any world championship. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when I start to making that type of difference in my family first and then start making that difference, that type of difference in other individuals, that's when I really feel like I'm doing something. The other thing I wanted to say too, um, now that I understand my relationship with Jesus Christ a little better, um, my goal is to 
truly live the Spirit-filled life. And what I mean by that is I mean a life that's lived in the control of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Led by and in the control of the Holy Spirit. Because I truly do believe if you allow the Spirit of God to lead you in everything you do, you're going to be successful no matter what. Amen. Amen. You know, truly are I, I tell you, a spanking will do it every single time. <laughs> I mean, you know, and that, that, you know, that's the reason why, you know, the Word of God says you spare the rod, you spoil the child. I mean, and I really do. Um, all of those situations that I went through, you know, doing my boxing career, that roller coaster ride, I mean, believe me, I got a lot of spankings through that. Believe me, but I, 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 sh I should have gotten all, every one of them. Not only those spankings, but more. But I really do. I believe that uh, it's just like we as fathers. We as fathers, we are not going to allow our kids to go off and stray in an area that you know is not in their best interest. You're going to bring, do whatever you need to do to bring them back into the fold and point them in the right direction. That's the only thing that the Lord was doing to me. He really was. He spanked me several times, and believe me, I thank God. I praise him for each and every one of them. I retired at 29 primarily because, like I said, when I start moving away from the Lord, I'm telling you, those things that used to be real easy for me, those bouts that used to be real easy for me, they weren't easy anymore. And believe me, you know, I liken my, 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 my situation to... Um, King Nebuchadnezzar in the book of Daniel. King Nebuchadnezzar was a great king. But the revelation came to him several times through Daniel, you know, to basically change what you're doing, do what's right. It was the same way with me. Each and every time, there were several times in those title defenses that should have been easy that eventually, or, or in, some, in some cases, I made hard. And I think the Lord was saying to me, look, get yourself together, turn back to me, you know, and do this thing the right way. The reason why I retired at 29. And the other thing is, too, I did have an eye. When I lost my focus, that's what I basically did. I drifted away from that anger. You know, I drifted away from that anger. When I began, now I'm getting back to that point where I'm grabbing onto that anchor, and believe me, this time I'm holding onto that anchor, and I'm holding onto it tight. I mean, there are, there are other opportunities in boxing that I could be engaged in. The reason why I'm not getting engaged in those areas of boxing is because I really do. I believe it's going to take me away from that anger. I just don't want that to happen again. I truly don't. And, and I'm telling you, any of the young guys here, I mean, a lot of that stuff may look extremely glamorous. I mean, great. But I can tell you, and that's right, and I've been through every all of it. I've been through all the glamour. I've been to Las Vegas, you know, all you know, all over the country, you know. You know, it's just it, it is. It's, it looks <clears throat> glamorous, but I can tell you right now, there is no way that my life before now can compare to the life that I have right now. Amen. You know, you know, I'm married to a lovely woman. I mean, a lovely woman, and like I said, you. Know, I mean, you see the things that my son, the way my son is coming up. I'm so, I'm, I'm so very proud of him. I really am. I am truly proud of him. But believe me, I, it ain't going to stop me from staying on him, though. I'll mean, <laughs> <laughs> make sure you know that. Sure you know that. But I am, I am extremely proud of him. I have a, a great, uh, and I'm not just saying that because he's here. <laughs> I do, I have great in-laws. I mean, you know, uh, my in-laws are great. They support us 100%. I mean, they help us raise uh, my child. So, you know, the life that I'm living right now, while, you know, you don't have all the glitz and the glamour, the other thing is you don't have all that temptation. My name is Steve Johnson. I'm the Vice President for the Men's Ministry. I want to thank all you men for coming. Uh, this is something that we're planning on doing in the future more often, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, some of you will probably be up here doing the same thing he's doing. Um, and the one message that we want to uh, make sure.